Hello everyone, I'm Manish Bhattacharya and I work as a consultant at Encryption Consulting. We cover all the aspects of security concerns such as data security, key management and privacy. This video is the third part of our series on our key store where I will show you how to configure Encypher HSM with Java, how you can generate keys and how are these keys stored. Keep in mind for this to work, you should already have Java set up and shortly I will show you how my whole environment looks like. Over here, so first I will open up a CMD and run Java dash version. So in this environment, I am using Java 8. So I'll be running Java 8 for this whole demo session. You can use Java 7 or Java 11 according to your needs. You should also have Encypher Security Word installed and configured. To ensure if you have configured Encypher properly, go to the Encypher directory that you have on C colon program files. Encypher and fast and then build. Over here, you should first run inquiry. Okay, if you get unbrief only and operational on both the modules, then you did install Encypher Security World correctly. Now you can also run NFKM info to ensure that you have properly installed security worlds of Encypher. So this will take a while. And over here, if you go up where you find the module one, there you go, module two, and this should be usable. If the state is not usable, then you have a problem. Now, similar to the Luna setup, we will do a few things such as copying files and everything. So just go to your file explorer, open up this VC, go to program files, and say for and fast, and then you will go inside Java. Then you will go inside classes. And over here, you can see a chart file, which is Encypher KM. Just copy this file. Then you will go inside your Java folder, GRE, inside library, and inside EXT, you will simply paste this file. So you will be using this jar file when you will be creating keys. And these algorithms inside these jar files will be used. The next thing we will do is we will ensure that we have correct ports available via the HSM. So what you want to do is go inside C, program data, in Cypher, KM data, config, and then this config file that you have here. So just open it, open it on Notepad. And over here, you have a lot of settings. So you can choose find to find fifth port. So these are the ports that will be used for privileged and non-privileged communication between Java and the HSM. So ensure that these are correctly done. So non-priv port should be equal to 9000 and priv port should be equal to 9001. If they are not given these values, then it will not work correctly. So just ensure that these are in 9000 and 9001 values only. Just save the file and just close it. If you have a hard HSM, so just restart the HSM or if you are running it on Windows, just go to services and you should find and fast server running. So you can simply restart this service. Okay, since we are done with it, let's move on. So the Java virtual machine imposes a limit on the cryptographic strengths that can be used by JCE. Now we would like to have unlimited strengths of our cryptographic operations and keys that we generate. So what we will do is we will replace the default policy files with the unlimited strength policy files. You can find them and download these files from the Oracle website directly. And you can then extract it and use it on your PC as well. On Then you can extract it and keep it on your desktop or somewhere you 
downloaded. Simply copy these files. Then you go to your Java folder and you will paste them in your security folder like this. Since we are here, we would also edit the java.security file we have and add the Encypher key in. Similarly, that we added on Luna HSM as well. Now you can add the provider on number two or number three as well, but for the sake of simplicity, we will just add it over here. And we will refer to this provider whenever we are using Encypher provider. So I will just say, security.provider.12 equals com.encypher.provider.km.encypher.km. Now uh, the she should be available just one sec. Yeah, that's it. I will save this file and then these changes are saved. So whenever I refer to the last provider that is Encypher KM provider, that should refer to the Encypher KM jar file that I have copied to this folder. After you do all these, all of the things are correctly done or not, to check that we will run a simple command. Okay, so after all of these steps, we will run an installation test to ensure that we have done all these steps correctly or not. If we have not done correctly, if we have missed any step, then the installation test will fail. So just open up a CMD and run java com.encypher.provider dot installation test. This will run an installation test for you and list out all the providers available as well as all the functions that are available with Encypher HSN. So as we can see, these are all the algorithms and the signatures that are available via Encypher JC services. It will list out all the providers and it will tell you the if unlimited strength jurisdiction, jurisdiction files are correctly installed or not and how if there are any comments on the Encypher provider, then it will tell. As we did not in provide the Encypher provider on the top, it is giving us a few warnings that the Encypher provider is installed, but is re not registered at the top of the providers. So that we are perfectly okay with, because if you give Encypher provider on the top, then maybe some of your applications may have some issues. So moving on, now that we have correctly installed and configured the Encypher HSM with Java, we will try creating a key. So we will do Java dprotect equals module. This ensures that the, all the keys that we have here are module protected and they ignore passphrase. Now, what this will do is whatever password you give, that will actually be ignored. So it doesn't actually matter that much. So the ignore fast race equals true. Then we will say that we will actually want to run the key tool command. So send.security dot tools dot key tool dot main. Then we will say a key store. So we will create the key store on C directory itself. So key store will be C colon slash key store dot JKS. JKS stands for Java key store. Then we will give the store type, which will be encipher dot security world. Then we'll give the provider which is com dot encipher dot provider dot km dot encipher km. Then we will say that we actually want to generate a key pair. So gen key pair v for verbose. Then we would give an alias 
So Elias will be key demo. I'll give the key algorithm to be RSA. Key size to be 2048. Signature algorithm to be SHA-256 with RSA. Okay, it seems like I'm in a mistake. On provider. So this should be DER. And let's run it again. Okay, so it is asking me to give me, give them a keystroke password. So I'll just give a keystroke password because this actually doesn't really matter. Now these are asking me some of the details. So this details should be saved in the public certificate, which will also contain the public key. So I'll give in the details. Now it will store all the details in the public certificate that will contain the public key. So it will take a while. Now it has stored the key inside the JKS file that we have mentioned. So if we want to see the contents of the JKS file, it will be similar to the previous command, but instead of gen key pair, we will just mention list. Now it will ask for a password, so you can give the password for the key store. And then it will show you all the keys that are contained inside the key store. Currently the key store has just one entry, which is the key demo that we have created. Now are these keys really stored inside the HSM? We can actually check that. So. I will run a, a CMD and go to my Encipher folder. So that should be inside C, Program Files, Encipher, and Fast, bin. Sorry, bin. And then here I will run NFKM info dash L. Now these return all the keys that we have created but these doesn't have the alias. So there's actually another way. Now, if you go inside the C program data, and Cypher, KM data, and then local, you have all these files. So these are basically the keys that you have created. Now notice the time of my machine, 11.46 a.m. At 11.43 a.m., there are two keys created. One is the key, the private key, and another is the public key or the wrapped key. So both of these keys are created. Since we are generating a key pair, two keys are created, and these are stored over here inside the Encipher uh, KM data local. So we ensure that the keys are created via Java inside the Encipher HSM folder. That brings us to the end of part three, where I show you how to integrate Encipher HSM with Java and create keys in Java and store them in the key store. If you need help in integrating your applications with HSM or you need our consulting on other cybersecurity related issues, feel free to reach us on info at encryptionconsulting.com. You can leave your questions down below and subscribe to us for more cybersecurity content. Thank you.